so nice. Huh? <laughs> you know what? It's Spider-Man week. It is July 3rd, and technically we should be celebrating Independence Day here in the United States of America. But, fuck that, it's Spider-Man week. What do you say? Mm -hmm. I haven't been more excited about a fucking Spider-Man movie. Or a fucking movie in a while, actually. I take that back. I was pretty excited for Guardians 2. I know, it didn't meet the I was excited thing. for Logan. Yeah, I would like to say I was excited for Logan, except I didn't see it until like... A month after yeah. it came out, which means I wasn't really that excited for it. No, we got shit to do. It like, doesn't. It doesn't. Matter. It, it doesn't matter. If I was really that excited, I would have found the time. See this? I found the time. Okay. Spider-Man: Homecoming comes out Thursday. We're gonna go see it. We're gonna be at the Regal West Fork Plaza in Pepper Pines. That's just west of I-75 on Pines Boulevard. We're seeing it at 10:15 p.m. Row G. You wanna come stalk us? You wanna come join us? You want to join the Corka party, Spider-Man homecoming watch party, you know, you got to go Dutch. It's on you. But still, come join us. I'm not paying for your ticket. Neither yeah. is one. So, uh, but anyways, yeah, Spider-Man homecoming, Pembroke Pines, 1015, Row G, this Thursday. It's going to be fucking amazing. Uh, sorry, guys. Explicit. It says it in the details. We curse. We do a bunch of shit. So, anyways... It's Spider-Man week. It's also Independence Day, but it's Spider-Man fucking week. I wore my Spider-Man shirt. I know. I wore my Venom shirt. One of... <laughs> Anyways, so to gear up for Spider-Man, I think it's important to know where we came from. Obviously, Spider-Man's comic book character, Stan Lee and the other We're guy. Want to do news? Oh, we should do news before that, yeah. Some crazy shit happened. Yeah. Some, some like the Inhumans trailer. Did you watch it? No. You didn't see the no, trailer for Inhumans? I it, love the Inhumans, guys. Really? I didn't think it was that good. First of all, Ramsey Bolton is the bad guy. From Game of Thrones. Okay. Okay, which is that's, good. That's kind of rough. It, it, but it's ABC, so there's no way we're going to get the Ramsey we know and love. Plus, he'll never Game be, no one could ever be as bad as Ramsey. No one. And he's actually playing Black Bolt's brother. I forget what his name is. Oh. But, okay. what? Maximus. Maximus, thank you, thank you. Uh, so, uh, and Black Bolt's in it. He's not wearing a mask. <laughs> Ramsey's <laughs> such a piece of shit, man. Ramsey, he, he's oh, bad. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, uh, but I didn't like the way it looked. They showed Lockjaw in it, which I guess was probably one of the cooler parts, and I hate Lockjaw as a character, but... In well, it's show, a dog, right? It's a dog, yeah. It's a bulldog, yeah, with, with, a, with a tuning fork on his forehead. Um, but, uh, yeah, so they showed the Inhumans trailer. I guess it's going to be debuting in IMAX, too, if you want to watch it or whatever. If, but, I mean, I'll check it out, but whatever. Inhumans debuted. Right. Um, what were you going to say? We're hearing a lot of rumors about Marvel's next event. Next movie event? No, their next comic event. The Generation? Yes. What are the rumors? There's, there's a lot of rumors that things aren't going too well. I mean, I could have told you that wasn't... I could I could have told you that was happening over at Marvel post-Secret Wars. Yeah, but there, well, the problem is that this is around the time where um, the comic companies try to get the, the people lined up. Um, and DC right now is apparently trying to poach all these very unhappy writers for Marvel based on this event. So I'm a little upset because I thought this was the event that was going to reboot the whole Marvel stuff. I mean, they just rebooted it post-Secret Wars, but and it, failed, fucked it, up. it failed miserably. Yeah, it was horrible. It failed miserably. So that's, that's what I thought this was leading into, and, you know. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I mean, Generations, I think, is the first line that comes out from Marvel, which right. is going to be like... You know, Logan with X-23. You know, uh, um, Thor with uh, Lady Thor. Um, um, Bruce Banner with Amadeus Chow. Cap with uh, uh, Steve Rogers with, uh, what's his name? Um, Sam, Sam Wilson. Wilson. You know? Yeah, that sounds great, man. We'll see. I don't know. They debuted another trailer, too. I totally forgot what it was now that I'm thinking about it. But, I, but also, guys, you want to comment, you want to have any questions, have anything to add, by all means, let us know in the thing, in, um, in the whatever, the comments. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what else was that. There was other news. I totally thought of it, too. But I, Image pulled his book, Divided States of America. Oh, yeah, you told they me. They had a book. crazy cover. What was, the, what was the cover? The cover was some, some guy getting lynched with his like testicles hanging out and a racial slur on as, as a name tag. Oh, really? Yeah, and then an image, in the first book, they had a, a, a rape scene of a transgender prostitute. Really? Which uh, caused a huge problem in the trans community. So not only did Image pull this book, they're forcing all their employees to take sensitivity training. 
I mean, the book is called "Divided States of America." The cover, uh, the main of uh, the cover A you, is is, like, a, is, you, a, is a Muslim woman woman wearing a burqa that is made out of. But American at what point, like, I mean, it, what, what did you expect? Well, the, the, here, yeah, right. But at what point? And, and this is a problem with Marvel, though, right? All the the political correctness and the pushed agenda. Yeah, well, right? Marvel is Disney. Because, like, if you told me, Juan, I want you to take sensitivity training, I'm like, well, you're being insensitive to my insensitivity. Like, at what point does it stop? I mean, it's fucking stupid. We have a Chinese Hulk. I don't have a problem. Where the fuck is Bruce Banner? I Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's dumb. If you look at the Avengers team, none of them are there. Mm. No Tony Stark. Well, we're, we're, we're getting into social issues of the United States of America. Well, these are whole, important issues because they're invading they are, the comic book store. I go to the comics invading, to avoid all this, right? They're invading, they're invading everything, it would seem, you know? Our, uh, we don't need to get into the to the ethics should, right, and, be, and, be, and behavior of our president, but, you know, he's 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 number one target, right, for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but whatever, anyway, so... We should uh, talk about this, right, guys? No, we shouldn't talk about this. It'd be interesting. And maybe another time, maybe another show. But It'd probably anyways, be the end of the anyways, podcast. We're here to talk about Spider-Man. I couldn't. Fuck! I can't think of what the other fucking news was. There was an. I swear there was another trailer that debuted, and it was fucking good. It must not have been that good, right? I don't know. Fuck it. Was it a TV show? No, it wasn't a TV it show. Was a movie. It was fuck you in the ass. Anyways, all right, so. Spider-Man. If it comes to me, I'll interrupt our Spider-Man dialogue to do it. Anyways, so that's that's our news. Um, We're terrible newscasters. <laughs> terrible. Fucking horrible. And our our executive producer, Susie, at Susie Fed, who you can find half naked on Instagram. Check it out. Right, Susie? I mean, you are... Just come on. You are half naked on there, right? Not half naked. No? Bra panties and a mask is not half naked? That's how you go to a beach. But you're not wearing a bathing suit. It don't matter. What are you wearing? What do you go to the beach with? You, so you're not wearing panties and a bra? Yeah, that's how you... That's how you go to the beach? You go to the beach in panties and a bra? I saw a woman in, un, in lingerie at the beach the other day. With Victoria's Secret. Bra and underwear at the beach. So it's possible. I don't know. At Susie Fett. That's S-U-Z-E-E underscore F-E-T-T. She wears... She wears a, a bounty hunter and and a, um, empire helmets with lingerie. Anyways, let's talk about. Are you done with the phone? Jumanji. Oh, that was that was the other thing. The Jumanji trailer. A lot of people were talking. Did you watch it? No. Jesus Christ, man! What have you been doing? I don't care about Jumanji. Jum well, first of all, Jumanji with Robert Williams was fucking great. This new one's with The Rock and Kevin Hart and Jack Black and some other chick. And basically. Uh, Instead of them playing a board game, they're going into a video game. Tron? It's kind of like Tron. It's kind of like Tron, but Jumanji. It's really weird, so it doesn't oh, take... we have Tron. It doesn't take place in the real world. It takes place within the video game. Like, like Tron. It's very much like Tron, but, but it's called Jumanji. But it's, it looks good, but it doesn't look as good as the Robin Williams one. Because the cool thing about the Robin Williams movie was that the Jumanji, the, 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 the safari invaded the real world. We saw rhinoceroses in the streets and elephants in the streets, and, and that was pretty cool, and the, and the guy hunting throughout the town. This isn't the case. It's the other way around. And apparently, like, these kids, like, in this high school go into this video game, and then they become the personas that are, that is The Rock, Kevin Hart, um, Jack Black, and all that stuff. Whatever. Anyways. Sounds terrible. Jumanji, check out the trailer. Let's talk Spider-Man. So Spider-Man Homecoming comes out this Thursday, Friday officially, but Thursday for all you people that can't wait like us. And to better understand Spider-Man, I think we have to understand where it's been. Marvel character had a TV show Spider-Man and Friends cartoon with Firestar and Iceman back in the 70s, I think it was. Maybe early 80s, I don't remember. I was, we weren't alive. Um, and, uh, and then it had the Spider-Man cartoon in the early 90s, which was fucking awesome. All the cartoons in the 90s were awesome. Most of them, I agree with that though. They were really the eighties had good cartoons too. But the Spider-Man cartoon, cartoon in the in the night, it was it, it was it was the best version of the comic book translated onto a media form, kind of like the X-Men cartoon was too. Yeah. Anyways, and then the movie comes out. The first movie, uh, two thousand two, Spider-Man one, directed by Sam Raimi, um, Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man, and uh, who was Gwen Stacy? Mary Jane. Mary I mean, Mary Jane. Jane was Mary Jane. Kirsten Dunst. Yeah. Kirsten Dunst, thank you. Kirsten Dunst was Mary wow. Jane. Yeah, I I know. Know. yeah. Um, when Spider-Man came out, like this was post X-Men. Yeah. X-Men already came out, 
But Spider-Man, like, blew the lid off of everything. It was amazing. Uh, I have the numbers here. It did... Is that right? Yeah. It did... It did... It, what, what was that number? It did... The lifetime gross was $403 million, which isn't a lot today. No. If a movie does $403 million But wasn't there a lot working movie. against that movie anyways? Wasn't it scheduled around the time 9-11 happened and all that? It, ha- it, it came out... It came out... The, the 9-11 happened, and it came out in May of 20, 2012. Oh, okay. Or, or 2002, sorry. 2002. Oh, so it really didn't affect it at all. That was just I the mean, posters. I they, mean, they did pull the poster, which had the World Trade Center in his eyes, as you know. Um, when Spider-Man came out, I... I loved it, but after watching all the other ones, I don't think it's that great anymore. William Defoe was Green Goblin. He's he's great. Yeah, he's great. William Defoe is great. Uh, what's his name was uh, Harry Harry Osborn. James Franco. James Franco, and I thought he was great too. And that was really his big debut. Yeah. You know, he came out in that, and he became the the star we all know today because of that. That was like his breakout role. Mm-hmm. Toby McGuire not so much. He was in Pleasantville ahead of that. I know a couple other movies. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know. What do you, what do you think of Spider Man? I love the first one. It's, I still think it's great. I thought it was good, but I look back now and it wasn't as good as the Uncle other Ben ones. was great. It, rem- it reminds me of like X Men. X Men One was great when I saw it. I watched it like five times in the movie theater because I've never seen anything like that on the big screen before. And then I compare X Men One to all the other X Men movies now, and I'm just like, eh. Okay. I think the first Spider Man was the best Spider Man movie. You think the first Spider Man was the best Spider Man movie to date? Well, um, yeah, I'll give it to it. Fuck that. Yeah. All right, whatever. Anyways, all right. Well, that's your opinion. Spider Man Two came out Correct. in uh, two thousand four. Two years later, made three hundred and seventy three million and change, just under the first one. And this had Doctor Octopus in it, and I thought this one was fucking great. Well, Doctor Octopus made the movie Alfred Molina. It was great. Like Doc Ock was great. Even you know Spider Man was it was great. Uh, we find out at the end that Mary Jane realizes, finds out that Toby, uh, Spider Man, Peter Parker is Spider Man. It, it was great. Mm-hmm. Um, Spider Man Three, horrible, the worst. I got my car robbed watching that movie. <laughs> I know. I went to go see it on opening night. I was so excited. I'm like, oh, Venom's gonna be in this. I get out of the movie. The movie was horrible, and my car was robbed. So why do you think the movie was so bad? Uh, the dance scene alone. With the little, the, the, in the bar? Oh, I thought you were talking about when he's walking outside. He's that like too. Emo and like, oh, when he's like John Travolta and, yeah, and like in like he's Saturday Night Fever. Emo. Yeah, yeah, that was bad. But the but the but the whole choreographed dance scene in the lounge yeah. was hands Who down. Who directed that movie? Sam Raimi did all three. That's terrible. I don't know what he did. And Sandman was great. He looked just like the comic, but unnecessary. An unnecessary mm-hmm. villain. They rushed Venom. They brought Gwen Stacy in, and and Bryce Howard played her. Who's also from Jurassic World, if you guys didn't oh, I don't know. like the kid also that played Venom. Eddie Brock was... Uh, this Topher movie. Grace. Yeah, I hate him. Yeah, he's not bad. He's fucking horrible. He wasn't bad. I didn't think he was bad. And I thought I thought, I thought, thought Venom actually translated good on, on the screen at the end of the movie. Like, it was pretty scary. I don't like the fact that they ripped his skin away and showed Topher Grace so much. Uh, they should have kept the mask on. But when it was on, he was pretty evil. Uh, but overall, like, the movie was fucking horrible. Yeah, it was really bad. It was... It, and, like... Like, well, oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it it wasn't it wasn't good at all. I I I I didn't I didn't enjoy, I didn't enjoy Spider Man three. And to get my car robbed after was just the worst. So apparently, I was supposed to make a Spider Man four, and but with Sam Raimi. But then I guess Sam Raimi backed out, so Tobey Maguire backed out. And that was the end of the Sam Raimi, Toby, Toby Maguire run, the Spider-Man trilogy, the original one. That pretty much set the standard for, you know, to lead the way into the Marvel universe we have today. I wouldn't say what DC is doing, because I think Christopher Nolan set that standard. But, but as far as Marvel goes, I think Sony did that job with Spider-Man, um, as well as the X-Men. But I didn't like Toby Maguire as Spider-Man. But how about him as Peter Parker? I didn't like him as Peter Parker either. I thought he was fine as Peter Parker. I thought he was a fucking nerd, like Peter Parker. But 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 he wasn't a good nerd. He was like a what's a good nerd? Like a like I love you, Mary Jane. He's was, was a nerd. He fell in love with the per- first piece of pussy he saw. No, no, no. That's typical no. nerd. You see it in the store all the goddamn time. No. Magical unicorns just flying no. all over the no. goddamn place. No, let me tell you what. Let me <laughs> no seriously, seriously, like no bullshit. Let me let me let me tell you what. In in all honesty, like in watching the the trailers for Spider Man Homecoming. That guy, what's his fucking name? Tom Holland. Tom Holland. That guy, 
nail Peter Parker. And I haven't even fucking well, we seen can't, the movie Well, we can't yet. get there. I haven't even seen the movie yet, but I'm telling you, it's the best Peter Parker. I thought that Tobey Maguire wasn't that bad of a Peter Parker. He was, like, nerdy. He was, you know, intelligent, shy. I, I get it. All right, well, to each their own. And, and, uh, and I, I thought Gwen Stacy was horrible. I thought Bryce Howard did a horrible job as no. Gwen Stacy. I thought it was unnecessary to even have her in the fucking movie. I thought it was bold to put Mary Jane in before Gwen Stacy. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't even know why the fuck they did that. America loves redheads. I don't know. I don't know, and I didn't. I didn't like Aunt May and Uncle Ben. You know, I mean, Uncle Ben was great. They were great. They were traditional towards the comic, but it yeah. didn't. It didn't make sense towards modern day. It was. She was your typical like. I'm gonna go bake cookies in the fucking oven, old lady. I didn't like it. My grandma bakes cookies. I didn't like it. I didn't well, like. She I didn't alive. like. Aunt May. She's dead. You know, and and. I, the, She's the, lucky. The, the the one scene I did I couldn't stand like when when she was on the bed praying and and doing the our our father and the Green Goblin busts in and he's like finish it you know and she's like had to finish the prayer and he captures her like oh. yeah man that's awesome like, yeah that was like... a few years ago my sister got yeah. robbed and she started praying they let her finish praying no I didn't like it well you're an atheist I didn't like it. I mean, you're an atheist. I, it has nothing to do with anything. It has everything to do. You don't understand nothing, the power of prayer, no, bro. No, no, no. Suck my dick. Anyways, I mean, I, how powerful right. could it be? I'm still working right. here. Anyways, so let's... let's. I just now I got it. You right there? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. All right, so Sony says bye to Sam Raimi. Says bye to Tobey Maguire. I say good riddance, especially after Spider Man Three. We hold hold on, hold on. But yeah, I think this is important in the movies. We have gotta talk about how Sony, when they got the rights to Spider Man, they're under contract to have to produce Spider Man every certain number of years, or they lose the property. Correct? I thought that was X Men. No, because that was from Fantastic, Fantastic Four. Four. That wouldn't have, it, it wasn't for Spider Man. I well. don't. Th- I don't think it was for Spider Man. Be- and the only reason I say that is because look, I, based on this year, Spider Man One came out in two thousand two. Spider Man Two oh four oh. Th- uh, Spider Man Three came out in two thousand seven, and then the Amazing Spider Man didn't come out until twenty twelve. Oh, okay. Five years later. Who knows? So that takes us to the Amazing Spider Man, the Andrew Garfield version. Horrible. With with, uh, with what's her name as uh, uh, Gwen Stacy? She just won the Oscar. Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Gwen Stacy. So hot. Um, uh, the guy was Captain Stacy. Like trailer park. I'm so bad with names though, today. Know. Who was the guy? Dennis Leary was Captain Stacy, and then you had the Lizard as the villain. I thought this movie was fucking great. Like, Emma Stone is the type of white girl that you know her feet are dirty. Like, she's hot, but you know her feet are dirty. Oh, she's totally, she's totally the bitch you know that you can go get head from, seriously. Yeah, right, yeah. But, but, but aside from that, who cares? I thought the movie was great. And I thought Andrew Garfield was great. No, he was terrible. No, he wasn't. He's such a horrible actor. No, Andrew Garfield was great. He was great. He was, he was witty when he needed to be. He was nerdy when he needed to be. Hey, nerdy? How was he nerdy? Because he's the fucking... Uh, he was, he was, he was, he was your great mid two thousand. I've never known a nerd team. like Andrew Garfield. I'm like Andrew Garfield. <laughs> you would want to think so, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> All right, guys. Do you believe this scene reminds you of uh, Andrew Garfield? Uh, I don't, I'm not saying I look like the motherfucker. That's no, I, I, I don't think okay. I don't think Andrew Garfield pulled apart of Peter Parker at all. Peter Parker's not like that at all in the comics ever. Well, I thought he was a little too old, too, you know, if they wanted to represent. Uh, uh, and in that one, like, I, I did not like Andrew Garfield at all. All right. Well, anyway, listen, I, I, I thought it was pretty good. I, I, I liked Gwen Stacy. I thought the lizard was great. I loved the whole Osborne being, like, the big brother in the movie, Osborne Industries. Um, fucking, you know. Well, the, the fact that it was an ultimate, it was basically the ultimate Spider-Man storyline was exciting. Awesome. Awesome, which is taking it, taking uh, uh, taken from Marvel, who did that. Although the Amazing Spider-Man, yeah, it came out. Yeah, I take that back. Never mind. Yeah, no, Amazing Spider-Man came out after uh, Avengers, I think, right? Or at least after some of the Marvel movies. Either way, mm-hmm. Amazing. I liked it. I, you could go suck a dick. I liked. Well, it. I like the storyline. I just hated Andrew Garfield. And I, I really enjoyed the. Wasn't fact Dennis Leary in that movie? Yeah, he was Captain Such Stacy. Such an overrated comic. Captain. Yeah, yeah, overrated comic, but he was good as Captain Stacy. Yeah. He wasn't funny at all. He was serious. Yeah. Um, but he, here's the thing. I, I also liked how Peter Parker's parents were like these, like people that were murdered, and like they had this like secret like government thing they were working on. It was great. I mean, murder turns me on too, but it, it was good. It really was good. Other than just 
And, and, and Aunt May was played by Sally Field, which was way better than the Aunt May in fucking the Sam Raimi ones. I guess cause she was, she didn't pray or make cookies. No, she just, it was more believable. It, but you know what? It was just more grounded in, in modern day reality than the other Spider-Man movies. It was a more modern movie. Yeah, fuck you. Of course it was. Jesus. Wow. There's a difference between 2012 and 2000. Here's, here's the problem with Amazing Spider-Man, though, in the eyes of the movie studio. It only took in over $260 million. It goes to show it's the worst one. It didn't do good. I didn't even know what it was making. It didn't do Remember good. Remember what I said? The first one was the best one. It didn't do good at all. Like, Numbers I, don't lie. That is bad. Like, really bad. Now let's talk about the disaster, right? Amazing Spider-Man 2. Disaster. See, I fucking love this movie. Ooh, oh boy. I love this movie, and I could not wait for Amazing Spider-Man 3 with the Sinister Six. Mm -hmm. Actually, if you remember quickly, they were rumored to have a Sinister Six movie post-Amazing Spider-Man 2. Okay? This movie debuted the Rhino. It debuted the Green Goblin. It de you saw Doc Ark's arms. Mm -hmm. You saw the Vulture's wings. You saw all that shit in this underground fucking lab at Osborne Industries. And Osborne being the head of everything, the guy that played Harry Osborne was a creepy, evil fuck. Yeah. Like, great. The only thing that made Amazing Spider-Man 2 a piece of shit... Jamie Foxx. And I'm not going to blame Jamie Foxx. I'm going to blame the script, and I'm going to blame the costume design of Electro. I thought Jamie Foxx did a great the job. The lines were so cheesy. Wasn't there something about his birthday and blowing oh. Yeah, they, it, it was very reminiscent of Batman and Robin with, oh, when, so when Schwarzenegger was Mr. Freeze, saying stupid lines like that. Oh. Everybody chill, you know? And then they, like, crammed in all these different storylines, like the death, of, the death of Gwen Stacy for no reason, which was well done. No, no, the death of Gwen Stacy, that like, was, great. was holy shit. Like, yeah. like I, I thought stayed true to the comics for the most part, uh, she, with, with, the, with, the, with the exception of the, of the setting, you know? If, well, I, I, if the, you forgot, the Green Goblin throws her to her death, Spider-Man dives after her, catches her with her web, and her neck snaps. No, but in, in, the, in the comics, her neck snaps. I think in the movie, they made it her head, like, hits the floor. No, her neck snapped. Oh, I thought... Her, her, she hit the floor. Yeah, no, in, she did not hit the floor. It would have been blood. There, no, no, in the movie, the bottom of her head goes... Boop. No, it does not. She, her neck snapped. I mean... Her neck snapped. Sure. How many times have you seen the movie? Someone that hates it. Once. I've seen it more than that. Her neck snaps. Oh God! I hope he's fucking wrong. YouTube, like people watching, please tell me he's wrong. I remember the bot, her head. If her head fucking hit the floor, there'd be blood everywhere, and then the movie wouldn't be PG thirteen. Right. They just took out the blood, but allowed, you know. No, her neck snapped, and it it was like, holy shit! And then she's just dangling there mm -hmm. from the web. Right. Okay. Like, heart wrenching. Bold to do that on screen on a Spider Man fucking movie. Mm. The, 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 the flaw in Amazing Spider-Man 2 was Electro. The fact that he went through the electric things and then came out a character and, and all of a sudden had that rubber suit on, like that, that all, his suit all of a sudden came back. What they should have done was have him like Dr. Manhattan. You wanted to see a blue penis? No, but, but whatever. It, it, that would have made more sense than, than he, he disappears and reforms. And then, and then his suit comes You know what makes out. a lot of sense? A person that can't travel through electricity. Well, it's a fucking comic book movie. Okay, well then, fucking, okay, so you don't need to see a blue cock. It's not about a blue cock. Alright? It, it's about, it's about, it's about trying, it, like, if this were to really happen, how would it go down? But that's the point, it can't really happen. But if it were, look, you could say about Starship Troopers, but if, guess what? In Starship Troopers, if we were really fighting bugs, that's how that shit would have went down. And that's why that movie's no, great. No, everyone would be carrying Raid. No, no, fuck you, dude. Dude, you're making no sense right now. Listen. Big giant, like, hydrogen bomb, except it's Raid. Amazing Spider-Man 2 was fucking great. We saw the rhino at the end, all right? That was cool. Uh, was there all these rumors about that little kid at the end being Miles Morales? I don't know, fuck that. Which would have been great if it, this transitioned into that. It would have been great, but, but no. Do you think they'll ever do it? Black no. Spider-Man? I mean... They, on, on the big screen. They might do a Black Spider-Man, but they won't you do it. So? They won't do it in place of Peter Parker. Peter Parker will be there too, I would think. Mm. I don't know. Cowardice. I don't know. Maybe Sony will make a deal with Marvel to give Miles over to Marvel, but he doesn't stay in Sonyverse. So you lose Peter Parker in Marvel, but you keep Miles. Well, I don't know. Who knows? 
Anyway, so I, I thought the Sinister Six that was really cool, but again, because I hated Andrew Garfield, I was I was really rooting for this to fail. I mean, it was directed by Mark Webb, no pun intended, um, and uh, I he had really great plans for the Spider Man verse, and it just did bad. It did it did two oh two, almost two hundred three million, <laughs> yeah. which is fucking horrible. Because Andrew Garfield sucks. It, it's a shame because it it really was. It, it, it deserved better, I thought. I thought the Amazing Spider-Man movies were both way better than the Sam Raimi, oh, well, Tobey Maguire ones. I know that's a bold statement. I, I gotta, I gotta like, disagree. People are gonna be like, "You fucking lost your mind." I mean, com- uh, uh, ignoring the fact that three exists, no, the Sam Raimi, the first two are way leagues better than the. The first amazing. one is not good, man. It's really not. You put the first one up against Spider-Man Two or Amazing Spider-Man One and or Two. Is dated. It, it's it's a lot of things, right? Like the Green Goblin. There was a poor execution of the Green Goblin. It's more comic. It's comic-y. It was a poor execution of the Green Goblin. And that's what makes that movie bad. What do you mean? At the end, he's on the glider and fucking attacking the, that, no. that parade thing? No. It's it's a poor, I think it's a poor execution of the Green Goblin. Sure. You know? I think the best villain portrayed on screen to date... I mean, Venom. He you think looked, Venom was the best villain? Well, he looked the best. Well, Venom or Sandman, they both looked good. No, no, Doc Ock. Doc Ock, yeah. It has to be Doc Ock. Like, Alfred Molina killed it. I'm going to go with Harry Osborn as the Green Goblin in Amazing Spider-Man 2. Better than Doc Ock. Yeah, you want to know why? You want to know why? Because Doc Ock, in his traditional sense, is a he's literally a crazy mad scientist. And... And... He's just fixated on domination, and uh, and the Doc Ock in Spider Man Two that wasn't the case. He was a good guy. That was just mind control. But Doc Ock doesn't go insane. I mean, uh, Harry Osborn doesn't ever in the comics. Osborn doesn't go insane, right? Yeah, he does. Doesn't he run the Dark Avengers? That's that's Norman Osborn. Oh, okay. Who is the original Green Goblin? And he and he is insane. Right. Yeah. Norman is. Yeah, Norman is. Yeah. How do you run the Dark Avengers? Because he's a fucking conniving fuck. You guys should read Dark Avengers. It's amazing, and the Thunderbolts that lead up to it. But it like like I I think the guy that played Harry Osborn in Amazing Spider-Man Two was literally creepy. I thought it was a great execution of the character, and as great as Doc Ock was, Doc Ock looked great. I I don't. I think at the end of the day that since he redeemed himself and. I did, he didn't want to die a monster, whatever the fuck that was, and he falls into the fusion ocean. Mm-hmm. I just wasn't sold on it. I don't know. So, obviously, Juan and I totally disagree here. On everything. He thinks Tobey Maguire was the best Spider-Man so far. I, think, I didn't say best Spider-Man. Well, who's the best Spider-Man? Andrew Garfield. I'm very confused right now. You just shit on Andrew Garfield. Yeah, he's horrible. You just shit on him like hardcore. He's a terrible actor. Which means, but but you like him as Spider Man. We we're picking from two Spider Men. Okay, so you think Andrew Garfield's a better Spider Man? And Toby McGuire is a better, a better Peter, Peter Parker. Parker. Yes, one hundred percent. Who's the better damsel in distress, Mary Jane or Gwen? MJ. I say Gwen. I say Andrew Garfield. Better Spider-Man and I mean, Peter when in the Amazing Spider-Man one and two was didn't really. It's not damsel. No, she wasn't a damsel in she, distress. She was her, she was her, her, her yeah. character. She, than, she, she she was good, man. She was better than. Mar- Excuse my words, okay? Fucking Parker's bitch, okay? Like Mary Jane or fucking Gwen? What? Who would I? What are we? Who's the better one? Who's the better female lead? Female, better female lead. Lead character, execution, all above. I'm going to have to go with Mary Jane. Whatever, dude. You're For really, the purposes of, of, of Spider-Man. Whatever, okay. You're obviously you're obviously sucking the Sam Raimi cock hard. It was just too light, man. It was like... Ugh. It was too light, like Spider-Man. We all know he's dark and brooding and, uh, you know... It, 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 no, I mean, it's just, it, it felt like a fucking cartoon, dude. But that's what the fuck Spider-Man is. No, no. It's a comic book. No, we're going to see this Thursday what fucking Spider-Man is. It's a comic book. Whatever, listen. I'm sorry that the original Spider-Man was very light and fun and like the comic. Listen, also... I wish it was more hey, not like the comic. Kirk Connors was a great lizard, too. The guy he, was a great, the, he was a great lizard. You know, I think the CGI lizard was a little... Lizard, uh, yeah, he was a great lizard. Yeah, but, but lizard was a great character, too. It still doesn't redeem how horrible that movie and unlike the comics it was. I thought it was pretty good. And then we have Civil War. 
Well, that's, uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, that's why I think this is... Well, we got to talk about that appearance now, right? Hey, I mean, it's better than all of them. The best, the best thing about Civil War was that airport fight scene, right? It's my daughter. Okay, I believe you. But, um... I didn't, I didn't think it was the best scene in Civil War, but... Yeah. Really? Why? What do you think was the best scene in Civil War? Not that. I, huh? thought, I, thought, I thought the Cap, Bucky, and Iron Man fight at the end. Really? Daddy? Baby, I gotta call you back. Wait, hold on. I can't. Wait, I love you. Do, do you have a customer? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. I love Bye. you. His customer is the internet, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, wow. She had to get stitches. Um, it, 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 I, the Spider-Man in Civil War is amazing, which is Stole why the show. which is why Homecoming is going to be great. You know, Marissa Tomei as Aunt May is fucking genius. Why didn't someone think to make Aunt May fucking younger and cuter and because more she relevant? wasn't in the comics ever? I know, but still, like, like kudos. But you complain when things kudos. Aren't. Mm -hmm. I don't complain. What do I complain about? When things aren't like uh, lo like uh, loyal to the comic versions, don't you? Give me an example. When I was like, "This is fucked up." I don't know, man. I was creating a straw man argument. Thanks a lot. No, it didn't work. Anyways, uh, that that that's it. There goes conversation. That, that that's the Spider Man movies that led up to now. They weren't amazing. Like they're not. N none of them are in my top five, or probably even top ten comic movies. Not ever. top ten. You know, and that's sad because Spider Man is a huge iconic character. But uh, it is what it is, right? Why do you think he's so iconic? I don't know. That's a really good question because he's a fucking spider guy. And no one likes spiders, right? Who the fuck so likes spiders? So why do people like Spider-Man? I don't know. I think spider... You know what? Spider-Man is America. No, Captain America is America. No, fuck Captain America. It's Cap in his fucking name. Captain America represents... America. The greatest generation, blah, blah. Old school America. Spider-Man represents what America is, I think. The American people relate to Spider-Man. This is like your segue into the 4th of July? No, but it is related. It's just coincidence. This, there couldn't be a more perfect movie to come out 4th of July week than Spider-Man. Yeah, a Batman. Captain America movie. No, not at all. Not at all. Because Spider-Man and... Bo I mean, she really, you know... Can you turn your ringer off? I guess. We're, we're doing the internet show right now. Fuck. Oh, Pretend we're in class or something. Mm -hmm. Remember class? No, that was a very long time ago. That <laughs> was a very long time ago. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I think Sp I think people like Spider Man because it 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 embodies what what America is. I don't know. It's weird. A regular guy gets gets powers and he's he's humble. He's he, he, he every comes, comic book. What, where are we going to get the guy that gets powers who's just fucking a piece of shit? There's a bunch of those. They're called supervillains. No, but they're like insane. I don't know. There's a bunch of them. Anyways. I wish I had superpowers. Whatever. What would they be? Huh? What would they be? I don't fucking know, but I know, like I said, I don't have superpowers now, and I'm a goddamn felon. Okay. Well, Can you imagine with superpowers? That makes you a villain. I would kill the <laughs> fuck out of people. All right. See? Case in point. Um, Top five people you want to kill. No, no, no. Susie, uh, do we have any comments, questions, anything? Or is it quiet today on this people July 4th? I'm just agreeing, but I want to say something. You remember Iron Man 3? Yeah. Yeah. You remember a boy Iron that... Two. Or no, it's three. It's, it's two? It's no, I, I, I searched it. You sure? Yeah, it's three. Which was not the best Iron Man movie. No, Iron Man 3, three was by four. far the worst. So, remember the little boy? Yeah, I remember that little okay, boy. Okay, that little boy is confirmed to be Peter Parker. Based on fucking what? Is that, uh, that's what the studios are saying? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, what, what, that's what they're saying. saying. It was a kid in a fucking Iron Man mask. That's what they're saying. Yeah, big fucking deal. Like, anybody can say that. Oh my god, let's go rewatch Iron Man 3 so we can see the kid in the fucking Iron Man mask. 100% gonna rewatch Iron Man 3, motherfucker. Say that's Peter Parker. <laughs> well, it worked. It worked on me. It I'm gonna go watch Iron Man 3. Didn't work on me. Nice try. I won't. I. It, it's gonna take a lot for me to sit through Iron Man 3 again. Yeah, Iron Man 3 was. Iron Man 3 was pretty bad. Iron Man 3 was yeah, fucking yeah, garbage. Was no, 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 three, no, three, was, three was by far the fucking worst. Whiplash way. wasn't so bad. They should have called the movie Tony Stark, not Iron Man. Yeah, it was horrible. Um, Anyways, uh, I got nothing else to say. You got anything else to say? Top five people I want to kill. No, aside from that. 
No, no. I'm really excited to see the movie. I think it's going to be fantastic. It's um, going to be amazing. Watching the trailers, I mean, I think it's it's kind of funny that they got uh, Keaton to play uh, the Vulture. I think he's going to be the yeah, best fucking Spider-Man great. villain, too. And I think it's kind of funny because of the whole Birdman yes. movie that came out, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that's great. I think Iron Man and uh, this kid's chemistry seems to be like it's spot on. I mean, it was in, in Civil War. Yeah. Uh, the kid that they got to play his friend, he also seems like he's going to be funny and... And so there's a lot to look forward to. I mean, at least from the trailers and what we know, it looks like it's going to be probably the best Spider-Man. Probably the best Spider-Man. Maybe even hands down. the second best superhero movie this year. I think it might be the best. Not I know you're going to say Logan, Logan, but whatever. Anyways, uh, it's going to be great. It, it might. It, I'm, I'm hoping it ends up in my top five superhero movies ever. Um, but we'll, we'll find out. We're excited to see it. We're seeing it again this Thursday, Regal West Fork Plaza, 10, 15 p.m., uh, Row G, if you want to stalk us, sit next to us, whatever floats your boat. Um, it's going to be fucking great. And uh, next Monday, we're going to talk about it. And uh, time permitting, we'll talk about our top ten Spider-Man characters and villains ever. If we can get around to it, depending on how great I the I hope this is. list is better than your Transformers list. My Transformers list was fucking amazing, okay? Fuck off. All right? Anyways, so, anyways. Uh, oh, we have a name for our show, by the way. Yeah. We have a name for our show. It's called... It's called, it's called uh, Atomic Pop with Fat Man and Little Boy. If you don't get it, pick up a book. Don't say anything. Why? Don't say anything. Don't tell them. Don't say anything. It's kind of... No, don't say anything. Atomic Pop with Fat Man and Little Boy. That's the name of, of our show now. Um, follow our channel or subscribe to our channel on YouTube. We, uh, we're trying to get enough followers to get a custom URL so you can find it on the Corka Comics Facebook page, the link to the YouTube channel. Other than that, I'm Steven Corka. Also, for any of you that, is, uh, that care, tomorrow is uh, the 4th of July. Tomorrow is the 4th of July. We are open at We are locations. open. Um, I will be here, um, not with my children watching fireworks and enjoying time with my family. And if I you will want, be here. If you want to go to the Pembroke Pines store, you can actually see the fireworks that the city of Pembroke Pines does from our store. Yeah, people actually sit on the parking lawn, lawn chairs and shit. Yeah, so so check it out. Happy Independence yeah, Day. Yeah. Happy Birthday, America. It's Spider-Man week, though. It's all about Spider-Man. I'm excited. Are you excited? Can you tell? Yes, very excited. Thank you very much. I'm Stephen Corka. Juan Farage. Laters.